It's me, Zets. It's spooky season, so that means time for some Halloween treats. Let's make a mess. So if you're watching TikTok lately, you're seeing a trend of pancake noodles, right? So I was like, hey, it's Halloween. Let's make them spooky. We're gonna be making some red velvet pancake worms. For this recipe, all you need is your favorite pancake mix, some cocoa powder, and some red food coloring. I'm gonna use a pancake griddle and a squirt bottle to help give me some uh, nice lines. If you don't have a squirt bottle, you can use a Ziploc bag or a piping bag, or you could just maybe even, you know, use a spoon and gently pour it out or anything with a funnel. I ran out of cocoa powder, so I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use some Nesquik. pancake griddle. I got my red velvet worms. I saw somebody on TikTok do it this way so it helped them flip. Draw one line and then you make a worm going that way, that way, that way, that way. And we're going to try doing it the other way too. Wait for the bubble saw to pop at the top and make it look dry instead of glossy and then flip it over. Our worms all cooked up. Oh, look at it wiggle. Look at it wiggle. Mmm. It's time to give it a taste. I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of uh, syrup here. Mmm. Wormy. That's it for now. Until next time, make sure to stay safe and have fun. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Reckon Reading. I am Miss Sarah from the Daily City Public Library. The book is called Pumpkin Trouble and it's by Jan Thomas. This will be great! I can't wait to show Pig and Mouse my jack-o'-lantern. They'll be so surprised. Just one last seed. <gasps> Whoops. Uh-oh. This isn't good. Can anyone help me? Pig? Mouse? Are you there? Hello? Ah! It's a pumpkin monster! A pumpkin monster? Where? Oh no, it's chasing us! It's chasing us? Help! Quick, hide behind the barn. What barn? Smash. Duck? Look, Duck battled the pumpkin monster and won. I did? Hooray for Duck. I'll make a jack-o'-lantern to celebrate. I wish Duck were here to see this great jack-o'-lantern. Where is Duck? Uh, can I get a little help? Hi, Rick and Reading. My name is Cherry, and today we're going to be making a toilet paper roll candy treat. For your supplies today, you'll need some glue, a Sharpie, googly eyes, a toilet paper roll, pipe cleaners, some tissue paper, and candy. Your first step is to stack your tissue paper evenly. Put some glue on the tissue paper and then cover your toilet paper roll with the tissue paper and seal it with glue. Your next step is to tie one end with the pipe cleaner. After you do that, you're going to fill the other end with candy and then seal it with the pipe cleaner. Your last step is to decorate it with the googly eyes and sharpie.
And that's how you make your toilet paper roll candy treat. Thanks for watching. Okay, so this is called Five Little Pumpkins. So if you want to do it along at home, you can put out your five fingers and it goes like this. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, I'm ready for some fun. So ooh, went the wind and out went the lights and five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Great. Hi, Rec and Reading. My name is Cherry and today we'll be making a candy filled ghost. For your supplies today, you'll need a toilet paper roll, black Sharpie, pink Sharpie, wet glue, and some candy. Your first step is to flatten the toilet paper roll and then draw a face with the Sharpies. After you do that, you're going to fold the bottom of the toilet paper roll and then secure it with glue. Your last step is to fill it with candy, fold it, and then seal it with glue. And that's how you make your candy filled ghost. Thanks for watching. So we're gonna do one more rhyme. So this is kind of like brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? But it's a Halloween version. So it starts with brown owl. So we're gonna, um, uh, we're gonna learn some colors and some animals and some shapes together. So this is called brown owl, brown owl, what do you see? And it says brown owl, brown owl, what do you see? I see a white ghost looking at me. White ghost, white ghost, what do you see? I see a purple bat looking at me. Purple bat, purple bat, what do you see? I see a green hat looking at me. Green hat, green hat, what do you see? I see a black cat looking at me. Black cat, black cat, what do you see? I see an orange pumpkin looking at me. Orange pumpkin, orange pumpkin, what do you see? And then the orange pumpkin sees a jack-o'-lantern looking at me. All right, thank you. Hey, Reckon Readers, it's me, Zed. You've heard of charcuterie boards. You've heard of butter boards. Now, you're gonna hear about my super spooky zombie brain frosting board. Let's make a mess. For this recipe, you need your favorite frosting, some colors, some flavorings, and then anything you like dipping in frosting. You can make it savory, you can make it sweet. I'm gonna make this one all sweet. I'm trying to do a zombie brain with a little bit of ooze and goos and maybe some other colors around it. For today's recipe, I'm using store-bought frosting instead of making my own. One of the reasons I'm using this is because it was left over from another project I had, my birthday. So for the zombie brain, I need two containers of frosting. Then I'm going to be adding some pink food coloring. For flavoring, I'm gonna be adding some strawberry Nesquik. I'm gonna set it aside, get another flavor of frosting done. For this one, I'm gonna make it orange. Now these are great, this brand, because they're already whipped. This is not already whipped, so I'm gonna have to go take it over to my stand mixer and I'm gonna give it a good beating. Before we started filming, I went and I prepared piping bags with frosting tips in the bottom. You can use any ones you want. I'm using a nice round one for the brain itself, the pink. And for the other ones, I'm just using random star tips. How I fill mine up is I bring it down as low as I possibly can. And either using a spoon and a spatula combined, I try to get as much as I can on the spatula and put it 
on in that section right there. And then I pull it up a little and I keep going. If you're more comfortable using a spoon, use a spoon. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is one of the things I hate the most is filling a piping bag and it's not one of my best skills. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pipe half of my brain making a D. I'm just using a round shaped tip to pipe. I push from the back and squeeze from the front and then I'm gonna do a nice little zigzag back and forth and then come back over it again, pipe it again, zigzag, fill it in. I'm just gonna keep doing that. And I'm gonna do the other side making a pink mountain. Yeah, and now I'm just gonna do zigzags back and forth to make sure and maybe a line over it. Step two, you need a little bit of brain fluid. And I'm gonna do some more frosting dots with our green, building kind of a border so our blood juice don't drip out and mess up all our other fun goodies. And then I'm gonna come in with some or random orange now. Now it's time for the fun part. We get to add all our treats and our goodies. Eyeballs, some cookies, some gummy teeth. I'm going to suck that water. Uh -uh. Some burritos. Oh, they have little pumpkins on them. Some Nilla wafers. Some pretzel rods. And how about some fresh strawberries? I was gonna put some apples on it too, but I think looking at this amazing tray of food, I think we got enough stuff, especially with the amazing straw bellies. Hey, I'll put some straw bellies over here. There you have it. From my morgue to your kitchen. Make sure to stay safe and have fun.